Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how I can use AI to create a 3D model just from an image alone. So over here, you can see that uh, over here, I have uh, what you call a Labubu uh, 3D model. And basically, this was uh, generated from uh, nothing more than just this image itself. You can see um, the semblance of this. And this is another one. So I'm um, using this image to kind of like generate uh, this one right here, right? Um, and yeah, um, how I was uh, inspired to do this was uh, I was just looking online uh, for like images of like uh, models of like Labubu. And uh, basically uh, I was thinking like, how do people actually go around creating these models, right? Well, they can't, uh, there are uh, several methods. Number one, they can kind of like uh, 3D sculpt it. Uh, number two, they can use uh, uh, like a LiDAR scanner to scan a physical object uh, in there uh, to get the mesh. And I was just thinking like, hey, if I don't have the physical object, um, could I just like off the net uh, find an image of something, right? Uh, anything at all and uh, see if I can generate a 3D model out of it. Turns out uh, I was looking around and uh, Stability do provide uh, such a model. Right, so uh, at first I was uh, looking at their API options because I do have some credit to them and uh, I was trying out Staple Fast, but it's uh, unable to get uh, any details uh, at all, right? Uh, it's capable of uh, getting something uh, fuzzy, right? But nothing really uh, serious. So I looked down and uh, there was something like a Stable Triple SR and uh, I looked around and there was nothing that holds this. So what I did was that uh, I looked online to see uh, the repository and turns out um, with, um, you know, with some hardware, you can actually run this uh, on your own local PC itself. So, and that's what I did, right? Um, referencing back, um, I think an earlier article, I wrote about how I self-hosted Llama on my own home server with uh, this spec. Uh, let me see where's my specs, right? So I was using uh, AMD Ryzen uh, 595, zero sorry uh gpu uh for uh rendering uh gpu it's uh, actually a low-end card now it's a geforce rtx uh, 2060 right and uh basically uh i was able to use that uh to run this model to actually render a 3d object so um and the output looks like that right um i'm gonna show you like how the output looks like so the quality is not that bad right um, and in fact, uh, if there's too much uh, details, uh, what we can do is actually we can kind of like change them, reduce the mesh, right, from um, the face count, um, this mesh, um, we can kind of like uh, reduce the mesh from like uh, 65,000 um, to something less detailed, right, uh, this will make it a nicer print. Right, I can make it lower mesh as well. So this is probably a much uh, nicer print than uh, the one with like huge amount of details, right? So uh, there you go. So uh, this is how you can kind of like uh, remesh it, uh, reduce the mesh to make it uh, print nicer as well. Uh, that's what I figured for like um, some of this, right? Um, they probably went like, uh, they probably removed some of the uh, facet to make it a lot smoother. Okay, so coming back um, to stability, um, let's take a look at uh, like uh, the entire workflow live, right? So um, let's try it with an image that I have not tried before. Um, maybe this one, all right? So I'm gonna try uh, to do it live, uh, just so you can see like how it looks like. Uh, do take note that I'm doing this off uh, another machine I'm recording using my Mac. Um, and this is, uh, I'm sending it to my other uh, home server to actually do the rendering. So what I need to do is to uh, download the image first. So um, I'm doing wget, um, this one, um, there you go. Okay, so um, move um, pop mark to labubu.jpg, uh, all right. So now the image is on my server. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this, GPG, right? That's the image that I have downloaded. So this one with the nice stripy shirt, all right? So you can see 
uh, initializing model uh, for a second, uh, processing image. This, uh, I think it's just background removal. Um, you know, you can do background removal in less than one second. Um, running model finish. Um, okay, so it has been modeled and the mesh has been extracted. So now the file still resides on my uh, other server. So I'm just gonna like uh, pull it out to my local. Okay, and uh, let's see how would that look like. So uh, pulling this over here, uh, this was the input image. You can see um, the background has been removed and this is the uh, output uh, model is actually not too bad. Um, let's open it with Bamboo Studio and click OK. Uh, OK, let me just remove this. Um, I'm going to make this larger just so that you can see. Um, there you go. And then going to rotate it around. Yay. There you go. So um, actually not bad. Um, Right, I mean, sure, there's no stripey feature uh, doing a low quality 3D print, but uh, everything that's supposed to be there is there. And let's just rotate it around just so that you can see the back. So you can see the back is kind of like uh, generated by AI. There's no, there's nothing here that shows you like the back of the model, but the AI kind of like just uh, extrapolated like how the back of the model should look like and actually generated that. Uh, I would say it's pretty impressive. I mean, uh, I wouldn't print this model, um, but I think it's still pretty impressive to be able to just like uh, do it like that. Of course, um, you can just like, let me just remove this. Um, let me import it and see how it looks like on Fusion. Let me just uh, import um, solids, insert, um, insert a mesh. Like from my computer, uh, literally just learned this uh, yesterday, like how to use Fusion. So let's see how this goes. Uh, move to ground and okay. So uh, this is the mesh model in Fusion and I'm gonna click on this. Uh, you know, just now I talked about removing some of the, um, the, the, the facets, right? So um, the face count, like let's remove like half of it, let's see. Uh, it's not that bad. It's really pretty decent. I mean, uh, if you want a very low poly model of Labubu, that's how it looks like. If you want a little bit more details, um, it could look like that. Right. It's not that bad. Right. So uh, that's it. Right. Um, for installation, um, I'm gonna do a quick one uh, just so that uh, you guys know like if you want to try it out, how you would do. So first of all, you need the uh, NVIDIA CUDA setup. So like this guide would actually uh, bring you to set up the CUDA um, on, your, on your desktop. After that, you follow the instructions over here, um, getting started. So install CUDA, you end up here. So you start off with this one. Um, install PyTorch, install, install setup tools, install the dependencies um, and you need this thing called a Python dev tool thing and after that uh, you will just run the run.py which basically has a few parameters uh, get the parameters right and you can actually uh, use it to you know export the model so that's it um, hope you enjoy this little session on like how uh, AI can be used to like create uh, models, um, uh, mesh models out there. All right, um, I'll see you.